My apologies, man. Thought man to where you were seeking your husband. I've uh, come to meet with him. You see, I'm a friend of his. But we don't often take visitors. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit of an urgent matter, man. Not to worry you at all. <laughs> Merely a matter among friends. Well, he's not here. You'll have to leave. Oh, man. If you could let me know where I might find him come from the outpost. See, he hasn't been there in some time, and... See, on the trap line. That makes sense this time of year. If I may be so rude as to ask for a brief shelter in your home, ma'am. I've come a long distance. I'm terribly weary. Please. Three days, and we will be as rich as God's love. But if I could come with you. <laughs> why? Why would I need you along? Bill's beaver mitts. I was there the night your husband won these. That was some game. <laughs> We've been going for days. And he took old Bill for all he had. Keep the clothes on his back. <laughs> he wore old Bill's hat, coat, and mitts every time he came to the outpost. Made him madder than hell. <clears throat> Risk taker, your husband. I suppose you'll be wanting some sup. You're too kind, man. Thank you. I recall that storm. Storm? That was his reason, anyhow, for not returning home for more than a week. He'd gone to trade supplies. Said he'd be gone three days. When he finally did come home, he had them fine things on. 
Like a king. Didn't bring back no money. Nothing but a small bag of flour. Well, if I didn't catch a mink myself, Of it. A man needs his strength. I can keep your pace. I have the strength. You're thinner than a marrow bone. I have the strength now. In two days' time, if you don't return... I'll return! With all our needs bought and paid for. Now, I'll swear it if I must. No, 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 no. no. Still a southern girl. A northern wife wouldn't wail this way. And besides, they say a true northern wife can live three days just by licking her fingers. Your husband must be proud of his good match with you. You've been a strong, stout wife, I see. Many thanks, ma'am. Now, what was this business you were seeking my husband for? Uh, well, as I'm sure you know, old Bill at the outpost runs the ledgers. And your husband, well, he keeps a long one. And so as a friend of his, I thought I'd give him the courtesy to call. Is it common courtesy in the North to remind a friend of his debts? I thought he'd be happier with me calling on him than the others. Others? Yeah, there are some others he owes who I happen to know aren't as charitable as myself. Not to worry you with men's business, ma'am. How many pounds? I should wait to meet with your husband. To repay the debt, how many pounds? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. Depends on the quality. Prices, of course. But these do. I believe they would do to cover some. And this? That's old Bill's coat. <laughs> I believe it would do. But only if I could take it with me now. To show Bill, of course. As a gesture of your good graces, I'm sure I could convince him to stay the dead a while. What luck. I don't blame him. No. Oh, Bill, I mean. You're a man of his, I know. Send you here to make some claims, make some threats, maybe. You found me here all alone without my husband, and you thought you'd just help yourself. Hmm? No, I don't blame him. He fell for my husband's charming nature the same way I did. And himself be robbed of his most precious possessions. He robbed me too, you know. My greatest possession. If old Bill's uh, hat and coats are here, what's your husband wearing out on the trap hunt? Hey! Now you take that coat back to old Bill. Easy now. 
and you tell him to take my husband's name off the ledger. Yes, ma'am. He don't have no debts no more. He's paid me back. You too. Oh, no. And you too! <laughs> Shiver with 